Game's loud. Let me see if I can turn it down. Ah, select VMU to load. There is no file to load. Well, there will be when I save on it. Hello, Resident Evil! Yeah, I know that was a bit loud, wasn't it? So, what I first immediately noticed in this game, the Dreamcast version of this game, is this. You can automatically go to the Mercenaries, which you can't get until you beat the game originally, and they have an epilogue section, which literally has character profiles that you can unlock in the game at once you beat it. You can do that on the PlayStation version, but they don't have a section like this uh, until you beat the game and collect one of the first epilogue files. And from what I can remember, in order to get the epilogue file, I have to pick up every file in the game in order. And it has to be from start to finish in order. You can't go back and get one you missed. Which is kind of tedious. But that means I have to beat the game like eight times in order to get eight epilogue profiles. Which is crazy. Oh, this is demo play. Look how bright this is. Look how clear and sharp this is. Like, I cannot stress enough how beautiful this game looks. I did this, I geeked out just like this with Resident Evil 2 on the Dreamcast. I have it on the Sega Dreamcast, and the quality on this game is so much better. I almost forgot how beautiful this game looked until now. Look at that. Look, look at that. It's bright. The Dreamcast is like the definitive version of Resident Evil 2, in my opinion. You can see her face. You can even read the words on her back. She's got words written behind her. It, it's it's gorgeous. It's so clean. It's so clean. Look look how bright that is. It is not dark. You can see everything. When I saw this, I was like Dude, PlayStation, you messed up when you brought out your digital version. Yeah, it's the PlayStation version, but but this quality, man, there there is there is nothing being sacrificed right now. Like I cannot stress enough how beautiful this game looks. I did this. I geeked out just like this with Resident Evil 2 on the Dreamcast. This is the definitive version to play. This is beautiful. Hit the barrel. Kaboom! <laughs> yep, this is this place. So when we played this game in PlayStation, this corridor right here, remember we did a demo for it and I upped the gamma? <laughs> Alright, check this out. So, it's gonna start the demo reel real quick. And I wanted to show you what I did differently for you guys. And I want you to tell me what you think. Because you know how we, we played Resident Evil 1 and 2 last time and, and, and it was dark and hard to see? Um, what I was able to do to make it a little bit better was this. I actually didn't up the brightness at all. I upped the gamma and I sharpened it so you can actually see everything. And it do, it's not it's not that bad, actually. This is, this is what it looks like regularly and that's just one of them. See, this actually doesn't look terrible because of the lighting wow. in there. This doesn't look terrible, but when you up it... God, you see so much more, and I up the sharpness too, so it's not so washed out. Like, even that... Even that doesn't look that bad. I, I did not up the brightness. I, the brightness is at zero on OBS, which is nice. But that was my problem last time. It was when I was upping the brightness on um, Resident Evil 2, it was just washing everything out. And I couldn't find balance. So before I started the stream today, I was tweaking the settings, and I'm like, oh... Oh, that works. Okay, that 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 can that's doable. That is doable. So yeah, yeah. This one's a, this one. If I think this one's a different um, um, setting uh, uh, in the demo, I think it's a different location. Yeah, look how dark this is. Now watch this. Look at that. 
so much better. Here's it dark, can't see much. And here's it again. So, I think we're ready to play. I think we're ready to play. That was the one thing that bothered me the whole time, was just like, ah, I can't see. But now we can. We played this game on PlayStation. This corridor right here, I remember we did a demo for, it, and I upped the gamma. And showed the difference between the, the default look on your PlayStation 3 digital copy versus what I could do in OBS. But here, you can even read that that says private property. But, like, that's just... That's just awesome! It, there's just so much detail that just makes me geek out about this game. On the Dreamcast. 